Hey guys, this week I was baffled by brass. But we'll get to that later. I have a confession for you. Many years ago I used to enjoy painting Warhammer miniatures. I still do every once in a while, but my eyes aren't as good as they used to be. So the other day I was browsing through Thingiverse and I was thrilled to see hundreds of similarly themed 3D prints. I found this one, a travelling dwarf merchant, and I loved it. Out of courtesy I contacted the artist and asked if I could cast it on a video, and he was kind enough to say yes. The 3D print was in three parts and used structural support, which was fairly new to me as a newbie at 3D printing. But I found with a little cleanup, everything came together perfectly. A little positioning wax helped to cover up any imperfections. It also acted as glue, holding the pieces together. I designed and printed a sprue system and attached three models with PLA and wax sprues. Everything was then covered in investment plaster. This was cooked for several hours in my homemade electric foundry, allowing the PLA and the wax to melt away. I decided on a brass pour this week, and as the weather was quite pleasant, I decided to do everything outdoors. When it came to the pool, it just didn't look right. Maybe it was the daylight, or maybe I'd taken too long. I wasn't sure, so I quickly had to shove everything back in the foundry and reheat it. A couple of moments later, I tried again, and it looked pretty much the same thing. Perhaps it's my inexperience with brass, or maybe it just wasn't quite hot enough. Either way, I swore profusely, cursed the casting gods, and kicked next door's cat in my frustration. It had all gone wrong. I just knew it had. It was a terrible job. But as the plaster was washed away, things didn't look too bad. This technique using my homemade vacuum system is surprisingly forgiving. I turned to my vibrational tumbler to remove any stubborn plaster.
Now, this is a barrel tumbler. It uses steel shot, water, and a spot of laundry detergent to polish metal items like jewelry. Oh well, I guess I'm down to two. And at this weight, it's probably best just to do one at a time. And here you go guys. Not too bad I think. One of these is going to the original artist as a thank you from me. The other is going to be given in a prize draw to one of my patrons. If you're thinking of becoming one of my patrons and fancy a chance of winning one of these chaps, sign up before the 5th of April and you'll be entered. Details of the competition are on my Patreon page. I hope you enjoyed this one guys. Take care and thanks for watching.